Hey guys, whenever you want to send a big file to anyone, it's kind of hard either because the app you want to use doesn't let you send that big of a file like Discord or it just takes too long to send to each person that you want to send it to. So I've come up with two ways to actually get around this. If you know what Mediafire is, it's basically a link sharing service which lets you share links instead of sending like a file. But the problem with that is the person has to download the file when they want to view it, which I don't really think you want to do. So the alternative to this is just by setting a link and the person does not have to download it. So here's how you do that. The first way I'm going to show you is by using Google Drive. Open up Google Drive and then sign in. Then create a new folder for the files that you want to share. Just click on the plus at the bottom and then upload any photo or video. Once you've done that, click on the three dots at the top right to go to the folder settings and then click on share. Then put the Gmail of whoever you want to share this like folder to. So you don't have to do it every single time when you want to share a new video. So I put one and you can make them a viewer or an editor. If you put them as an editor, then they can add files too. Now what you want to do is click on the three dots next to the file, not the folder. And then make sure that you do not click on link sharing. Link sharing will make sure that everyone who has a link can view the file, which you don't really want. So just click on copy link. Now only people who have access to the file can view it. So just go to your text messaging app and then paste the link and then send it. Now it shows the title of my Google Drive file. And when I click on it, it'll ask me to sign in. And if I use a, a Gmail that is not allowed to view the file, it'll show up with this. But if I sign in with an authorized account, it will let me view the file and I can view it in the app too. So it's much more convenient. Now, this is how you do it on Google Drive. But if all of you have iPhones, I suggest using shared albums. Shared albums are albums that multiple people can view and add videos and photos to. And it's located in the photos app. You can enable link sharing for this, but it's not really recommended because then anyone that has a link can view the files. And also shared albums are inside of the photos app, so it's much more convenient just to keep it in the shared album section. I also made a video on how to create shared albums and how to enable it. So I'll put a card at the top right and I'll also put a link in the description if you want to view that. If these two methods work for you, please leave a like and subscribe because I post videos like this once a week and they're probably really useful. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss another video.